When we first launched the light panels, we had a lot of comments where it was like, I've never seen anything like this before. There was the vibrancy of the colors, there was the idea that you could piece these together in whatever shape or form you want, and there's the idea that light doesn't need to come from a light bulb. And that's, I think that's where the future of lighting is headed. Nanoleaf is a lighting company that really tries to push the boundaries on how people think about light. When it comes to product design, we really try to rethink what's possible, and that's actually one of the models of our company. The first thing that we ask ourselves is, how are people going to interact with this product? How do we actually rethink how people experience this thing and, and make it even better than it exists today? About 100 years ago, before light bulbs were invented, uh, you had the candle, and it would sit on a little candlestick and it would emit light from a single point source of light. And then eventually when they created a light bulb, they did the same thing. They just put a piece of glass over it, and they, they heated up a little coil, and then they flipped it upside down and put it on your, your ceiling. When we thought about lighting, we started thinking about what is the best source of lighting that we have today? And in your life, if you think about it, when you're outside it's sitting in a park, you're kind of like surrounded by light and it feels very natural. So like why was it that inside you always had this single point source of light in a light bulb? It would be so much better if it actually could emulate the sky. So we set out on a journey to try and recreate that inside. The actual product design is so important to telling the story of the product. So if we had created the world's most energy efficient light bulb but it looked like a generic light bulb, I don't think that it would have gained the popularity that it did. The way we see it is if a product exists on the market today, we shouldn't strive to build the same thing. We as people should work together to really push the boundaries of what exists and I think that's really what it means to add value to this world.